Hello everyone, I'm Tony Doherty and welcome to another week of Max's Muscle TV. We've got another Ripper episode for you tonight, perfect for anyone looking to get nice and lean as I'll be showing you a training routine that's ideal for anyone getting in shape for summer or any other reason for that matter. Freddie and Pete will be sticking with that theme when they take you through a really effective cutting up diet and the professor's in on the act as he gives you the skinny on the science behind everything you need to know to get your body in the best shape it's ever been. Plenty in the show as always folks, but first up in our behind the scenes training segment we feature a couple of Muscle TV regulars and very experienced bodybuilders Jeremy McClay and Lockie Harkin. Training with injuries is something you should be very careful with folks. Injuries in the gym are no joke, but tonight the boys will show you how you can still get into the gym and train even when you're managing an injury. Take it away fellas. Today what we're going to do is what we call the back safe back routine. Basically it's for people with lower back injury. We know there's a lot of people out there in gyms who have lower back injuries and feel there's a lot of exercises that they can't do. So we're gonna show you today a workout which is gonna be good for people with low back pain that avoids compression, therefore avoiding further back pain. Just because you, you can't do deadlifts doesn't mean it's the end of the world. We're gonna show you a variety of decent back exercises. There's a lot of ways of building a decent strong back without causing compression. If you're not doing any of the exercises right, if it's impinging on your lower back, generally that would mean that you're hyperextending because the weight's too heavy for you. We want a manageable weight with any of the exercises we're gonna run through today. If it's impinging on your lower back, then you obviously got a too heavy a weight. For years and years, people were using weight belts to try and help with lower back pain. The latest research indicates, particularly from physiotherapists who deal a lot with core stability, is that you can get very lazy using a belt. It discourages you from activating your core. So Lockie and I will, will, will choose not to use a belt for this situation because we are trying to activate our core and, and not get lazy through and the build up our strength in that area again. Exactly. You can still do a lot of exercises and lift heavy weights so long as you're not causing compression on the discs that are injured. So we're going to show you a workout with a creative aspect towards training back, still heavy, still getting a really good pump going so people don't feel that just because they've got back pain there's no way they can build a decent back. The exercises we're going to go through today, the majority of them are supported exercise, which takes the core out of it to an extent. You've still got to be very careful, especially with your back. Part of the, the battle of managing back pain is recognising the activities that worsen the situation. So basically the routine that I've come up with to train my back is avoiding the exercises that I know worsen my lower back pain. It is a serious issue. There's a lot of people out there with back problems and you can indeed worsen the issue and, and cause yourself a lot of grief by not recognising your limitations and doing exercises that you really shouldn't be doing. The first exercise that we're going to do today causes no compression whatsoever on the disc. In fact, it causes traction, which is what you want. So we're going to be doing seated lat pull downs, wide grip to the front, a good way to start the back routine, get the blood into your lats and absolutely no load on your lower back. You start off light, just work your way up through the, the weights, keep creeping up until we get to our working weight range, then we start counting our sets. What you see a lot with seated lat pull downs is a lot of guys swinging and really poor form and just trying to shift really heavy weight with momentum. As you'll see today, Lockie and I will be, be lifting with form Still heavy, but within our limitations. Second exercise today, we're going to move across to a high reverse grip row. It's a great range of motion, get a full stretch, full contraction, really puts the blood straight into the lat. In the game with the lat pull down, it's a matter of not swinging, lifting a manageable weight. A lot of people make the mistake of just ego getting in the way, trying to reef down on something that they can't manage. Everything else comes into it. We want to isolate, full stretch, full contraction, really get the blood into the muscle. The third exercise is an isolated hammer row. This movement is more a low row 
because we've already done two high rows to target the upper lats. It mimics the dumbbell row, but once again, there's no compression, there's no flexion on the lower back because you're supported in the seat. You can still lift some heavy weight, but like I said, you're not putting your lower back at any risk with this exercise. Moving on from the isolated hammer row, we're going to move to a seated cable row, continual tension with the cable. Only to make it different, we're going to use a rope, get full contraction through the back, whereas like a D-handle would obviously only come to here with it. This way we use a more manageable weight, probably drop the weight down for what you would normally do with a normal handle, and we get a full contraction. Scapula's right back, work on our posture as well. The weight's not overly heavy, so it's manageable for that retraction, therefore it's really good for the core and everything. One of my favourite exercises, I picked it up from one of Jay Cutler's FST7 routines. Why it appealed to me most is that doing it as the fourth exercise in our workout and doing it with the rope grip, it discourages you from lifting too much weight because the whole concept of this exercise is full range of motion and getting a full contraction. So this appealed to me in particular because I can do this exercise, get a great pump and put almost no load on my lower back. Okay, so one exercise to go. As you can hear, we're pretty puffed and we've got a decent pump going. We've gone through our first four exercises. The last exercise, we'll go over to the other side of the gym and we'll do some rope pull downs to really blast our lats out. This exercise is, is not about lifting a heavy weight. This is a finishing off exercise to get an excessive over pump going to the end of your routine. Once again, really lightweight does the damage here. So you're putting almost no load on your lower back whatsoever. It's, it's about activating your core and it's about really stretching out your lats and getting a great pump at the end of the workout. With this exercise, it's imperative that you lift a manageable weight, you go heavy, straight away it's gonna become a tricep move. The triceps are gonna burn out before you feel it. It's probably the only well, I find the best exercise to really isolate just your lats and really get the blood in the muscle. Again, as Jeremy said, the final exercise really fills the lat up with blood. If you're a beginner and you've got chronic lower back pain, it might pay to get a personal trainer and, and inform them fully, give them all the details about exactly what your back situation is. That way you can't get into trouble by aggravating it with doing the wrong exercises. So that's our back routine, good pump. Most of all, we've trained really hard and we've shown you that you can do a back safe back workout without compressing your lower back and still get a really awesome pump going. Thanks Lockie, good back workout mate.